Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to configure a guest Wi-Fi using VLAN. So we're going to go over to wireless and I'm going to go over to security profiles and I'm going to create a new profile for the guest Wi-Fi. So I'm going to call this guest underscore Wi-Fi and I'm going to use WPA2 because this is the most secure um, encryption. I'm setting a password now for for the for the guest Wi-Fi. So all the users will be using this. The guest users will be using this profile to authenticate them. I'm going to go over to interface. Now I'm going to create a virtual access point, and we're going to call this guest underscore WLAN. And for wireless, we're going to give it a SSID of guest. And the security profile would be the guest Wi-Fi profile. Um, that, that's the one that we had created for, for the guest network. And the VLAN mode, we're going to use tag. And in tutorial 38, I did um, a tutorial on the basics of VLAN. And I spoke about tagging. And and just to um, just to go over that again, tagging is assigning a VLAN ID to the packets that pass through that interface or pass through a particular VLAN. So we are going to tag all the traffic that is passing through this guest Wi-Fi um, with a VLAN ID of 20. So click apply and then click OK. So we have created a, while, a virtual wireless um, access point for, for guest. Now I'm going to go over to interfaces, VLAN, and I'm going to create a new VLAN. I'm going to call this VLAN 20, and the ID is 20. And I'm going to, and the interface that this VLAN will be on is the guest wireless LAN. Click apply, click OK. And now I'm going to go over to bridge. On bridge now, I'm going to create a new bridge for VLAN. So call this bridge, bridge underscore VLAN 20. So this would be the bridge for the VLAN for v, for VLAN 20. I'm going to go over to ports now and add a port. So the interface that we're going to add to this VLAN is VLAN 20. I'm going to add the guest Wi-Fi, guest Wi-Fi first. I'm going to add it to the VLAN bridge apply okay and also i'm going to add the vlan 20 to that bridge also okay so this is what we just created the the wireless lan the virtual wireless lan is in the vlan 20 bridge and vlan 20 is also in the vlan 20 bridge Next, we're going to assign an address to the VLAN bridge. So let me just close these windows and we're going to go to IP addresses. We're going to add, a, add an address. Call this address 192.168.20.1. Um, or say 25 dot one twenty five dot one slash twenty four and this is going to be assigned to the bridge click apply click OK alright now I'm going to set up a DHCP server for for this bridge so the users know when they connect through the Wi-Fi 
they will be able to get IP address through the through the DHCP server for this VLAN. So go to IP DHCP server and we are going to go to DHCP and click on DHCP setup. So this is the easier way of um, creating a DHCP server. So choose interface which is VLAN 20. Next. 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 And uh, the this is the range which starts from 25.2 to 25.254 you can leave that as is and for the DNS we're going to use the Google DNS uh, 8.8.4.4 next and this is your lease time I normally like keeping my lease time I like depends 5 minutes I'm just going to set that 5 minutes for this you can set it to whatever lease time that suits you next oh. and now we have created the v the vlan and also the dhcp server for that vlan so let us look at the interface now so we're seeing the interfaces so you're seeing where we have the guest wi-fi and also the vlan is associated with it and the dhcp server this DHCP server is where um, all the clients that connects through this um, Wi-Fi, this guest Wi-Fi, will get an IP address range from this DHCP server. So that's the easiest way um, to create a guest network. Um, there's a lot more to VLAN than this. You can do um, numerous stuff with VLANs. Because VLANs are very flexible. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. And also share my videos uh, with persons who may be interested. And that's it. And thanks for watching.